Hey YouTube, Nandor690 here and I'm coming at you with another video for the Apple TV 4. And this is actually going to be an update to uh, the one that I just recently uploaded uh, on how to install MAME for Apple TV 4. And if you don't know what that is, it's a multiple arcade machine emulator and it's for playing old style arcade games like from the 70s and 80s. If you don't know how to install it or you're curious, I'll put up some links and you can go to that video and check it out. But on this video, um, I'm going to let you know that uh, one of you guys sent me a message on YouTube letting me know that the reason why some of the games weren't working or showing up in this emulator was because I was using the wrong ones. And apparently there's certain ROMs for certain builds of the emulator that you have to use. I didn't know this, and I'm sorry I didn't let you guys know, but I just didn't know it. But he gave me a link, so I went to it, and um, it is... 2,270 ROMs and it's for this emulator. They're all right here. I have it split into two files right now because I'm uploading them to uh, Mediafire. But I'll be giving you all the links. I'll give you the link that he gave me and if you have uTorrent you can go that route if you want. If you don't know what uTorrent is or uh, you don't have it um, you can use these Mediafire links. And I just want to show you real quick on these Mediafire links what they're going to do is they're going to you're going to have to click on this right here once you get to the screen and it's going to eventually reveal a code for you just give it a few seconds and this one is Budweiser we'll type that in and press enter and then it'll take you to the screen where you can do the download link and we'll do the same thing for the other one real quick Just a few seconds. And the answer on here is Budweiser again, so we'll type that in. And I wanted to show you this because for some reason it'll bring the screen back up again sometimes. So you'll just have to type in the uh, code again and then it'll bring you to uh, the link to download the file. So after those get downloaded the next thing you're, that you're going to do is go to the place that you have your MAME Apple TV folder go to that, go to RES and go to your ROMs and then all we're going to do is just go to uh, one of these two folders whichever one you want and the size of the complete ROM package is only like two gigabytes so I think uh, theoretically here you could just add all of these games to it and uh, you know it shouldn't be a problem and you might see a big gap right here and that's because I split the ROMs into two folders so just scroll down and you'll, you'll see the games in there but we'll just pick a bunch of these games and we'll drag them over into our ROMs folder and then I already have a bunch in here so if I have duplicates I'll just replace them okay then what you're gonna do is go back to your MAME Apple TV and open up the Xcode project file and you'll see that it'll bring you to the one that you've already been working on so then what we're gonna do is all those uh, ROMs that we just put in our ROMs folder we're going to drag and drop them and put them in our resources folder. And then we'll get this prompt right here and we'll click finish. And now you're going to have to give it a minute depending on how many games you put in here because it's going to take a minute for it to transfer everything over. And as you can see I already have a lot in here but we're going to be adding more. And it's indexing right now so we just got done copying them over so we'll let it finish indexing. And now that it's done indexing, we'll just press play. If you're using the same Xcode project that you've been working on, you should have the same bundle identifier right here. But if for some reason you don't and you get the provisioning profile error, all you have to do is just come up here and you'll delete everything in front of the com dot and then just put whatever you want 
and then pick your uh, Apple ID down here and it'll fix the provisioning profile error and then you just go back up here to press play it'll start building it again and then you'll just have to wait for it and like I said depending on how many games you put in here is how long you're gonna have to wait for it to build up here so we're just gonna let it finish building I'm not gonna fast forward or anything because I don't like doing that I like I like letting you guys see the process happen for me too so if we do get an error live you know we can work it out and now it's preparing to install and there we go now it's installing and you can see it looks like it's going through and installing all the games that we've just recently added and it looks like one of the uh, downloads is done yeah the untitled folder 2 will be one half of the ROMs so if you click in there you can see that all it is is just ROMs there's nothing else in here it's just all ROMs and this should be like P to Z and the other, other one would be uh, A to O I think or something like that okay now we can see that it's running on the Apple TV but we're gonna wait for the uh, output down here to make sure that everything's done and I'll go ahead and close these out while it's doing that and there we go we got our uh, output right here so everything's done installing and running on the Apple TV I'm gonna unplug it now and go out to the living room and we'll check out uh, the MAME a uh, application and see if any of these games copied over and see if they work or not so I'll catch you guys out there okay guys we're back out here at my Apple TV we're gonna go down to MAME click on that let it load up and now let's scroll down and uh, see if it, any of those games transferred over that we added and it looks like they did we have a lot more games than what was showing up on here before so let's try one let's try Skylancer remember to swipe right to get past all this stuff we'll click play and click down on the d-pad to uh, put our coins in and it looks like we're playing uh, same thing, play button will shoot. Just slide your finger around on the D-pad and uh, and you'll move around. Oh, don't want to hit Siri because I think it probably just froze up now. Yeah, so if you do that, you'll just hit the Apple button twice. Go ahead and force quit that app. Go right back into it. Let's try a different game. Let's go down here and what's the first thing that pops out at us that we should try? How about Super Bagman? I don't even know if I've ever heard of that. Put our credits in by clicking start in the D-pad. Press start again. And it'll be the same thing. You're gonna be using the sign your finger on the D-pad. Well, I hit the Siri button again. It's hard to do on playing the video, but you guys get the point. So there you go, there's uh, 2,270 ROMs for you guys to play on your MAME emulator on Apple TV 4. Thank you for watching, and I'll check you guys later.